Rise of the Cassians, Part 3, Favorite Son Dominus the Half-Blood emerged from the Makari flagship, a titan in red armor, his mother's sword scabbarded at his hip. This crowd was much bigger than the last. He'd viewed Phaedra's first visit many times. These will be your subjects someday, his mother had whispered. Note what compels them and be prepared to simulate it. Not all those present looked compelled, he reflected, as he scanned their ranks of troubled faces and averted glances. But he sensed the gazes of many beyond the periphery of his vision who could not stop staring at him. Despite his strange alien features and outside bone structure, his mother's likeness had not been forgotten. They saw it in his penetrating golden eyes sidling gait, the deceptively casual assurance of his sword hand, and they glimpsed something far more. Kindred, his voice reverberated. My mother was Trisena Toria, the commander of your fleet. The sacred blood of the Elden also courses through my veins. I have come to lead us to greatness as your emperor. We have no need of emperors here, a nobleman said icily, limping forward. And you have no more of our women. Do you doubt my claims, Dominus said, softly but in a voice that carried. He stepped forward, hand on the pommel of his sword. Do you call me liar? His sword sang as he drew it, raised it above the man's unblinking face and brought it down with a... that echoed like thunder throughout the square. The resulting shockwave knocking dozens off their feet and radiating outward across the city in an expanding seismic ring. Skyscrapers groaned and settled. Hundreds of eyes locked on Dominus and on the blade sunken hilt deep in the steel boulevard at his feet. This blade was forged from alloys that at your current state of progress, you would not have discovered for a million years. As he spoke, his other hand hurled a scatter of silver marbles heavenward. They vanished into the cloudless blue sky. Moments later, it began to rain. Mastery of the elements is nothing to our patrons. Dominus kicked away the nobleman's cane, gestured at the man's bad leg. As with a shocked gasp, he fell forward. Ah! They offer nanites capable of reversing tissue damage of any severity. Catching himself, the man looked down wonderingly at his visibly regenerating foot. Ah. Together, we will control the essence of creation. Do you accept? Within seconds, the erstwhile crippled nobleman was the only Cassian in the square who was still unbowed. <laughs>